making the most out of your recent Tesla purchase. I've had my Tesla for a little over two years now, and I really feel like it's been a really great investment. I know that a lot of people, myself included, you know, which is pretty much millions of people who not only bought EVs from Tesla, but other types of car companies, uh, you know, they're not happy with the price changes and the price fluctuations. I know that there was even one really great guy who was at my first job in Santa Monica and he bought a Ford EV and it's disheartening for anybody to see how the price of a car goes down when you bought it and you haven't even been using it for that long. Maybe that could be the case. And But notwithstanding of this type of issue, which pretty much everyone unfortunately had to face, I really feel like it's been a great experience for me just for the sense of transparency. I've had my car for like a little more than two years now. I got in on like the first week of August in uh, 2022. And um, my car overall, it has like a little over 17,000 miles on it. So I know that there are probably easily a lot of people who have driven more than me and everything because sometimes when I'm working on things, you know, I may just stay in the car and work or I may just go sit down somewhere you know in the library or the cafe or other types of places that i go to uh just to be able to work and do my things and i'm obviously not driving as much but from my experience that i've had with it um i do have the newer battery pack um and tesla kind of changed its um its advice and its you know kind of uh instructions uh, to new owners of uh, the vehicle of EVs uh, for how to charge it because you can pretty much uh, you can charge this to 100%. It's a little bit different than the other one because uh, even in the Tesla app, uh, it will provide you with automated recommendations depending upon whatever battery pack your car comes with on delivery day. But um, I feel that it was still a really good investment for me because say in the worst case scenario like elon musk has talked about in other tweets on his twitter that um the you know the battery pack should last three hundred thousand to five hundred thousand miles say if we're even in a worst case scenario and my battery pack lasts or gives out at like two hundred thousand two hundred and fifty that's still like around like 10 years of usage for this car maybe before i even have to replace it or have any type of issue and I haven't had really any types of issues with the car at all. Um, there was just like a little squeak on my side because, you know, I kind of just like move the chair lower so that it's easier for me to, um, you know, like it's just easier for me to sit down and everything. And um, they it was covered under the warranty because the car, uh, the battery has a warranty of 100,000 miles and the overall car itself has a warranty of uh, 50,000 miles. So I feel like for me, it's been an excellent investment and I know that it's kind of a maybe you know a topic that could be of contention or disagreement because some people feel that you know there was like a recent study that I'm sure a lot of people have seen in which it said that 50% of the people who buy uh, you know this type of car an EV from Tesla want to go back to a regular gas car after and I would have to say that I probably you know don't want to go back to a gas car I'm fine with probably like driving electric or something like this for a long time because um you know just the safety features and a lot of other types of things that Tesla has whether anybody wants to admit it or not everything that they offer in terms of the car and the technology it's always unparalleled and unmatched the fact that a lot of other car companies are coming into the EV space and they're really trying to make a big footprint undoubtedly that's going to lower uh, Tesla's market share and how many customers they can attract but in history in the history of electric vehicles and um, you know like how uh, you know like nobody's been able to do it like Tesla did at the beginning and they may never because the overall range of an array of electric vehicles that Tesla's offering it's always going to be unmatched and I know that you know some people they don't like Tesla you know they may be skeptical even about ordering one or even about a car you know when they're you know when they're preparing to take delivery day and everything but if i were you just to really make the most use of the purchase like follow some very basic things that like tesla talks about in their owner's manual and a lot of these a lot of these uh you know suggestions from tesla relate to the fact like you know don't go so hard on your car don't accelerate very strongly when you're trying to make turns or make sharp turns you know like um don't try to maybe like even uh try to uh you know leave it in you know types of 
areas of a parking lot where like the battery could overheat or it has to activate uh, the cabin overheat protection just like really small things like that like really actually have seemed to gone a long way to not even really have to pay for any maintenance costs because if you put things into perspective if you get like an electric car say from DM BMW or Mercedes I haven't like don't get me wrong um if someone if someone does have this type of electric vehicle from a different car company than Tesla please feel free to comment and provide um your suggestions or your experiences in the comments below but I would probably think that a Tesla or Mercedes if you had it for at least two years you would have probably had to take some maintenance on it I mean my mom she even has an older Mercedes from when I was in high school still that I would ride around with her when she would just take me to school and um, you know once those cars eventually break down they require a lot of maintenance and that's for any type of car but for my car and you know if you compare the maintenance costs to like an Audi or um, a Mercedes or a BMW I you know I know that it's more even there I've been studies comparing the Model Y to like electric Audi SUVs like my, one of my sisters she um she has like um, that type of uh, I think it's called the e-tron um, you know it's like a part it's like a hybrid electric a uh, gas car and um, I mean it's really great you know what Tesla has been trying to do in the space and also it's really interesting to see what types of you know cars their competitors come up with but for me I really feel like this is really great you can even see back there there's a bunch of space back there um, you know the seats like where like my parents have sat it quite a bit few times like when I drive around with them like it's not really that dirty at all um, there's really a lot of nice space here um, I also have a lot of nice accessories in terms of a little secret compartment you know just for having a few dollars um, you know just for emergencies or other types of things like I have a little flash drive here um, you know and overall I feel like it's really like an amazing car for me and I know that like maybe some people may wonder like what are you know how tall am I and how much do I weigh and how do I fit in the car like I'm like pretty much I think like five six and like I weigh like around like a little over 160 around like 165 and like for me it's plenty of space you know and um I just really feel that um you know if you're thinking to buy it you know now it's a great chance but um if I were you I would maybe get like the older type of model 3 I'm not sure if that type of option is still available um you know for sale I'm pretty sure it is in comparison to the refreshed one because the refreshed one like they got rid of the stocks they got rid of the steering wheel they put a cheaper steering wheel like you can see these these seats they're really nice you know and um nothing really happens to the leather because it's synthetic leather but um overall just like to give my impressions of what it has you know or how the experience has been for me i really feel that it's been great and i know that obviously some people may not agree with me or you know because there's a 50 percent there's a 50 50 percent chance that someone may want to go back to a regular car after but if you follow you know some of the types of things I mentioned which are really rooted and related and related to you know different types of um, suggestions that Tesla provides for owners in the manual I definitely think that this car can at least last someone for a long time I haven't driven it in the snow obviously or more extreme weather but I know that just you know from uh, from someone that I know who has driven his model Y, one of my physics professors in college he told me that just the battery maybe drains like 30% faster which I mean could be expected because if it's not running on an engine and you know there have even been people who have talked about like when the car had like 90,000 miles they maybe needed to get the motor replaced but having the motor replaced it, have, it has to be it could have to be done for any type of car so you know so yeah, I just thought that it would be helpful or interesting just within the Tesla community or the EV community in general to talk about my experiences with my car and what I would um, what I would recommend for people who are taking Teslas or other EVs about how they can make the most out of a pretty sizable investment of money.